Hi Cancer, welcome to your Love Connection reading for April. Welcome everybody, hope everybody's doing well. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, this has to be an actual connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you do have to at least know each other. So we'll see what we get here. Please only take what resonates, uh, throw away the rest. This could be past, present, or future. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, watching, doesn't really matter. So we'll see what we get for you here. Cancer, everything you need to know, Cancer, is down below in the description box, personal reading information, tons of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. I'll be greatly appreciated. All right, Cancer, and if you like my style, feel, feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff, be greatly appreciated. All right, Cancer, this is Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. And if you're not dealing with whatever comes out here, that is totally fine. So we have Uranus here, which is Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. If not, totally fine. Or it could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But uh, Uranus is the energy of human needs and uh, changes and challenges in life. So... <clears throat> Basic human needs of life, you know, like water, food, shelter, uh, money, stability, friends, family, love, all that kind of stuff. Basic human needs. So we'll see how that, oops, wrong deck, applies to your reading. So first thing I'm going to do, Cancer, is get an overall love energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading, Cancer. Let's see, or Cancer, Cancer, what is the opening love energy like between Cancer and whoever they are thinking of for this reading? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Or however they're thinking about for this reading, oh, that's two, I just want one. Opening love message, please, for Cancer. All right, let's take that one. Oh, well, we have a snake, and we have seven here, and we have the queen of wands at the bottom, so that is fire energy, Leo, Sadra, Aries. Uh, the queen of wands, though, does represent um, Aries, but it doesn't have to be, but the seven here oh, can be uh, about challenges. So we have the snake energy here. So I'm just going to read a little snippet here, uh, number seven, about the snake energy. Watch out for me because I am always hiding. You can never trust or believe me. I am cheating, deceiving, and, and will betray you in a heartbeat. Be careful where you are treading. My fangs will surely have you dreading. So you could be <coughs> involved with somebody who is uh, kind of lying, deceiving, cheating kind of energy. It could be in and out player kind of energy with the wands energy. Sometimes that can be indicative of that. And sevens, you know, all about confusion and, uh, you know, being defensive. So let's see. <clears throat> all right. So let's get what I'm going to do, Cancer, is put you here and your person here. How you're feeling about each other and the connection but if any time during this reading the energies need to be flipped and switched please feel free to do that so let's get an energy for cancer how are they feeling about their person in the connection spirit please thank you so much all right let's take this one and we'll take this one for your person oh cancer what the heck so you have the compass here and we have 42 which is six sixes to me are always about healing and balance but are you going in the right direction? This is about pointing your compass in the right direction. And then your person here has the whip, which is 11. And the knight of wands at the bottom, again, with that in and out player energy. So, I mean, 11 equals 2, and 2 is usually about partnerships and unity. But let's see, number 42 here with the compass. I just want to read a little snippet about that for you I am here to help you find your way if there is a journey to be taken or a choice to be made 
I can provide you with directions and a put and a path so you don't stray. And I almost said push. So maybe you need a push to go in the right direction. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're unsure about this person. I feel like they're sneaky. They're in and out. They're a player kind of energy. They're just in and out with a passion. But they have 11 here. Um, Birch Broom. Be warned of high temper. I bring conflict and strife. You will find me in competitions because I work with repetition. Arguments and quarrels are my patent, but I am not always a villain. I can be found in the gym or in a lusty bed on a whim. Yeah, this person is just full of lust and in and out energy, I feel. And you're wondering if uh, you should continue investing in this person. And at the bottom here, we have 21, which is the mountain. And we have the eight of wands energy again, which is a very fiery, passionate, fast action kind of energy. And 21, I believe, is the mountain. So I come to bring you challenge and obstacles with blockages and resistance. Yeah, this person, I feel, I mean, it could be you or, you, or I feel like your person. And Uranus is also about challenge. And it's funny. This says, I come to bring you challenges. So this person is a challenge. <laughs> wow. And obstacles with blockages and resistance. I will make you late for your date. <clears throat> and my coldness will take emotions off the plate. Pay attention and beware. I can be the enemy in your lair. So this person, yeah. I don't think, I think they're kind of like stubborn also. I don't think you're going to get anywhere with this person. Cancer. Again, this may not be for everybody, but I think they're stubborn. They're in and out player, passionate kind of energy. They just come in for the passion. It's like they know what this compass here, it almost kind of reminds me of like clock also. So I'm getting like time, like they know how to push your buttons and they know <laughs> just the right time to you know come in and out. But I feel like... I think if you continue with this person, you'll just be going in the wrong direction, Cancer. But we'll see what the tower has to say. So what is this compass about for? I think, because the six um, energy always reminds me like the six of swords, like going in a better direction, better place. So let's see, what is this compass for? It's too many for Cancer. The hangman. Yeah, you're, I think you're a little stuck on this person, a little hung up on this person, even though they come in and out, kind of a player, kind of energy, you know, and they're a little stubborn. I think you're still kind of hung up on them. Ten of swords, but I think they leave you, always leave you in this hurt kind of state. They come in and out, and like that's it. <laughs> but you're still kind of hung up on them. And what do they have? The Seven of Pentacles. They're very slow moving. They don't know whether or not they want to invest in this or not invest in this or just or to give more than what they're giving, you know, kind of energy. Six of Wands. I mean, they could be very attractive. They could be getting a lot of attention from other people. Um, you see this person um, getting attention from all kind of people bowing down at their feet. So they could have a lot of attention from other people and they don't really invest in anyone. They just kind of like wait it out and buy their time kind of energy, I feel. They, I think they come in and then they do their thing and they leave you in this heart state, but you're still hung up on them. You're still hung up on them. Oh, let's see what the actual situation is here. Oh. I wasn't ready to ask. So what is the actual situation here for Cancer, please? What is the actual situation for Cancer Spirit, please? And whoever they are thinking about for this reading. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you stress, fear, worry about this person. <clears throat> they got you up thinking about them. Could be just, you know, just sexual thoughts. It could be lost passion, but... They definitely have you hung up and all caught up in your head here. All right. So what else? I'm not crazy about the way those fell out. What else for 
Cancer in this situation, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. I'll take three. So we have the Six of Cups. So you feel like they're a soulmate, or you could have known this person for a long time, since childhood, or maybe you've been dating them or seeing them for a long time here. Yeah, Prince of Wands, Knight of Wands. In and out player energy. Yep, right in the middle of the spread here. So many cards of in and out, passionate player kind of energy. Wow. Queen of Cups. So they know you love them. They know you're hung up on them. And they know they can come in and out like this because they know how you feel about them. Wow. Okay, that's your energy. Queen of Cups here. <clears throat> Which is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And that is Cancer. That is the Cancer card. Wow. Okay. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Hierophant here. So they know, I feel like they know you're committed to them in some way, shape, or form, even though I feel like they are not committed to you. I mean, the Hierophant does speak, speak of marriage commitment and morals and values and faith and spirituality, all that kind of stuff. But I think they know that you have this big couple love for them and you're going to stay committed to them because of how you feel. So they could come in and out with this player energy anytime they want. You feel the soulmate connection or you just have known them for a very long time or this has been going on for a very long time. But they you definitely, they know they got you all up in your head <laughs> and hung up on them. But the Ten of Swords, they keep leaving you in that energy every time they come in and out. But yet, you go back every single time. Cancer. Oh boy, Cancer. Okay, so who? what is the advice for this connection, Spirit, please? Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing. Things going in a better direction. So what is that about here? This could be a karmic wheel spinning out of control. All right, so what else here for Cancer? Princess of Pentacles, so is the Page of Pentacles. And the Princess of Cups, so two pages here of stability, some sort of communication here, very stable and grounded, and also loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of love you know communication about a love offer stable love offer this is the advice so this is kind of telling maybe you to offer them something tell them you know maybe you haven't talked about it but they kind of know but really tell them i want more i want a stable offer i want love you know i want things to get better what else for the advice for cancer the devil but yeah it's just it's just a very lusty toxic passionate connection here it could be addicted to one another in that way but if you want this wheel to turn to get go in a better direction you may need to just commit two cards of communication so a lot of communication needed here about love and stability and not just this in and out player lusty kind of energy will get this wheel turning so if this wheel starts turning, I'll go over the signs um, at the end. Uh, what will happen? What will be the possible outcome? Well, we have the Ace of Cups here. So I mean, this could turn into a brand new beginning in love. Maybe they feel like that's all you want. It's just like maybe a friends with benefit or something like that, or just something casual. But, I mean, they do have the, you know, and they maybe they are in the energy also that they want a deeper commitment, too. But maybe they feel like you also just want this kind of casual connection. So, I mean, however this resonates for you, but possible outcome here is possibly here, Brandon beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. So, whether or not it's with this person remains to be seen. So, what else... Well, the possible outcome here. Five of Pentacles. So being abandoned, left out in the cold. I mean, this is an offer of a brand new beginning in love. 
So the advice is to approach them and say, okay, I want something stable and, you know, a real like love connection here to see how this wheel turns instead of just this in and out toxic, passionate, lusty energy. And then the be uh, offer, the uh, new beginning in love is here, but they may reject it with the five of pentacles energy because someone's going to be left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected. So this is the possible outcome. And then we have, well, we have the four of wands energy, which is a stable home life, which is commitment, marriage, ceremonies, uh, celebrating. Hmm. So <laughs> we have a brand new beginning in love happening in a stable home life, but then we have somebody left out in the cold. So this is kind of, I don't know, let's get more clarity on that. What is that all about? For you, Cancer, the Emperor. So somebody taking control here and saying, okay, I want this to be a solid love relationship, a solid commitment. Could be you or your person. I feel like maybe you, the lovers. So someone needing to make a choice here about uh, the soulmate lover here. But we do have the Four of Wands, which is a deeper commitment. But then we have the Five of Pentacles energy. So why is the Five of Pentacles here? Who's being left out in the cold? What is that all about? Four of Cups. So somebody may take a minute here just to think about the offer. Someone may just take a minute here. So, I mean, if you offer them something more, something stable, saying, you know, I want love, I want commitment, I want something more than this in and out bull crap. They may take a minute to think about it. And you may feel like, okay, um, you know, this isn't going to happen. Then all of a sudden they may choose this deeper commitment in this brand new beginning in love and finally taking control and stepping up and being an emperor now, not even a king or a knight or a queen or whatever, now being divine masculine or feminine energy and being the emperor. So I feel like they go from a player now to a... Uh, an emperor, an empress. So, and on the bottom of the deck here, we have three of cups. So, celebrating and rejoicing. The moon. So, not seeing the path clearly. Uh, emotions coming to light. Deep feelings. Maybe a little bit of fear. But here's manifesting a brand new beginning. Here's the sword of truth and clarity and success and victory. Deep conversations here. Um, so, Two people here being stable, independent in their own right, taking care of themselves, you know, being, you know, the wounded warrior, been through, been through it all, but yet remaining positive and stable and grounded and independent. Now coming together for a Ten of Cups, happy home and family, uh, fulfillment in every single way and making that decision and judgment call, the soulmates coming together, forgiveness, resurrection of the soulmates. Wow, so we have Scorpio, we have um, Gemini Virgo here with the Magician, we have Cancer or Pisces, let's see, over here we have Gemini, we have Aries, uh, Sagittarius, T -t 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 Taurus, Cancer. Uh, Leo, Pisces over there. So, I mean, we have a lot of energy here, so it literally could be anybody. So let's get some extra messages with this. I do feel like even though this has been a long time of in and out player energy, nothing stable, no nothing committed, nothing. I feel like if someone finally says, Hey, I want a stable, committed relationship, love, you know, this person may take a minute to think about it. And I think they will, um, make a choice here to be committed in this relationship. My, the beginning energy was, and I feel like maybe you felt for a long time here that you would never get this from this person. Maybe it's been a long time coming, 
but uh, I feel like it's finally here. All right, Cancer, Cancer. Let's get some bonus messages for you, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. All right, what do we have here? We have new love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. 26 is 8, again, about movement taking action. So this could be like a new love between the two of you. You know, if it was just friends with benefits or in and out player energy or just casual, now it's like now really having like love between the two of you. So it's like a new relationship, a new love. Or some of you could actually move on from this person and go with a new love. But I'm not really feeling that. And we have here, ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. 14, which is five, which is change. So I do feel change here. Maybe some of you may be asking for advice from family, friends, you know, professional help um, or something like that. All right. Wow. So let's get one more, one more, and then we'll do the bottom of the deck for you, Cancer. Romance, lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. 25, which is seven which can be about options and confusion and defensiveness and all kind of energy. But I feel like now getting beyond that and now having like this new love and romance between the two of you. And on the bottom here, we have, I love you. These are very important words. 22, which is soulmate union, unity. So now actually saying those words, being in a loved, loving, committed relationship after a very long time of thinking that you would never get this cancer. Wow. Okay, Cancer, <laughs> best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.